Hello all of you awesome people out there and hey hero your ship is still looking fine in that skin. In this episode we're going to be figuring out exactly how much isk we've earned from running the Gurista sites in high security space and also moving on to our next isk earning method which is going to be salvaging. We're going to be collecting up everyone else's unwanted and left behind junk in order to make some money for ourselves. Now hero you're looking very sad in that top corner there. Do you want to explain what's been going on the last few days? Uh huh. Alright so you've actually not made anything at all. Oh, you've lost Isk. Okay, let's have a look in your wallet and see what's been going on. Uh, we weren't joking, were you? We had 305 million in the last video. We're now down to 250 million. Uh, do you want to explain where all this has gone? Alright, so you did manage to lose a ship. We've seen that in the last video. And you've lost two tractor beams as well. You've left them behind at the site. It's a bit of a rookie mistake, but it does happen. And one's been blown up. We can see it there. Alright, so the tractor beams were about 7 to 8 million each. And the ship was about 20 million. How many sites did you actually run in the end? Okay, so you did do it for about five hours and you are down to minus five standings with the Garistas. So it's always good to be mindful that they will now attack you whenever they see you because you're just not liked by them whatsoever. Um, I'm a little bit stumped at where all this money has gone. Obviously, we've had some outgoings. You have had to replace a few drones and now uh, you've had to buy ammunition as well. But you should have at least made something. Have you managed to sell all the loot you got? Oh, you've got some left. Oh, brilliant. Let's have a look. Okay, so it's all kind of junk. So it's going to take you a while to get rid of all that. And it's anywhere for about 7 million. And you've managed to get some on the market and it's still selling. Okay, no problem. Uh, do you want to open up your market tab then? We'll have a look at the my orders uh, and see exactly how much we've got pending to come in. That's it, the my orders tab. And we have 26 million. Alright, so that's not actually too bad if we do... Do a little bit of um, rough numbering here. If we didn't lose anything and we only had to pay for one ship and didn't lose any tractors. And we take into account all of these estimated prices for how much we've got coming in. We should actually be up by about 30 million. Did you manage to run any DED sites? Okay, you had a few pop up as escalations, but they were in null or low storage space. Ah, but one in high storage space. Did you complete it? Okay, you managed to get halfway through that site before it ended. And uh, yeah, we do actually have footage of that as well. So we'll see exactly uh, what happens if you don't complete a site on time. So here he is. He's just completed the second room of this DED site. And he's simply looting all the containers which are left whilst chatting away to a few friends. Which is why he's taking his sweet time. And there you go. The timer has just run out. And I think that's completely comical. The way everyone just suddenly disappears. Just despawns. It doesn't exist no more. CCP couldn't think of a more creative way to end a site, so it just simply ceases to exist, leaving nothing but the wrecks and obviously Hero's tractor behind. Now here are you in a hurricane there rather than a rupture, why is that? Okay, the rupture was struggling with the site, so you simply bought a hurricane, used it for half an hour and sold it for near enough exactly what you paid for. So since it doesn't really impact the numbers, I'll let you off, but just this once, Hero, please stick to the plan next time. That's the end of that. Anyway, we're going to move on to salvaging next. Now, this is something I've often thought of doing, and I've heard people say that there is money to be made, but I've never actually tried it myself, so this is going to be as new to me as it is you, hero. Um, so give me a few minutes. I'll get a ship kind of fitted out for you, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, so moving forward, we are in our Mimitar Destroyer, the Talwar, and we've jumped about two jumps away from Jita, so we're in a fairly quiet system as well. And we're all ready to start our salvaging career. So basically we want to go out and we want to find absolutely anything of value, in particular lost drones, uh, tractor beams maybe, and also sites which people have completed but haven't bothered salvaging so we can get all the good stuff they've left behind. So let's have a quick look at the fitting here, but before you click that button hero, I just want to explain to everyone that there is no designated salvaging ship which we can use, so I've picked a Mimitar Destroyer. Uh, which I've kind of retrofitted to do the job. It's fitted kind of poorly even by my standards. In fact, I'm not even sure if it's fitted poorly. It's just kind of the best I could do. And I went for this ship in particular because I had a little bit more CPU. So yeah, you can see there we have modules missing. Uh, we're extremely limited on the CPU. We've hardly even touched the power grid. And we have lots of CPU modules in there. But we did get the sisters expanded probe launcher on there with the probes. We've got a tractor beam two salvages, two range finding modules which will help with the scanning down, uh, a few rigs on there as well to help with the align time and also the salvaging. So yeah, we're pretty much all ready to go. 
this is the best kind of ship I could come up with. If there is better alternatives, then please I'll link them down below or, well, type them up down below. And uh, I might try a different ship out or recommend to Hero anyway to try a different ship out. But for now, this should do exactly what we want it to do. Uh, so all we need to do now is get outside and start scanning. So when you're ready, Hero, undock and we'll look at scanning things down. Alright, so we are in space and the first thing we're going to do is open up the probe scanner window. There we go, and here just open up the drop down filters options for me there and just change them all back to default, they should all be checked. And this is pretty much what your scanner is going to look like when you first jump into a new system. It's going to show you all the cosmic signatures, the combat sites, the ore sites and other good stuff like that. Unfortunately, none of it's really any use to us. So next we want to make sure we have the combat probes ready in our launcher and we're going to launch in spread formation like Hero has just done there. Do you want to open up the map for me? Brilliant, as you can see we're going to end up with a probe in each corner of this system and we're basically going to scan the entire system for absolutely everything and from there we'll start pinpointing the stuff that's going to make us the money. And as you can see there was an awful lot of stuff here considering the system is kind of empty. There's still a lot of signatures and a lot of them to be honest we do not need. You can see we've got the mining fleets and everything in there. So open up the filters again and what we can do now is just simply start knocking off all the signatures we do not want to be able to see. So the anomalies for example they can go, cosmic signatures can go and uh, so can a few others. You can use the default filters here like Hero is doing or you can actually create your own filter using the create new filter option at the bottom there. If you want to click that hero, yeah, open the filters again. There you go. And it's going to open up a window similar to when you are changing your overview. Basically, we've got all the little subheadings there, ships and so charges and all stuff like that. And we can simply go through and just check and uncheck exactly what we want to be able to see. So here I have a fiddle round. We want to be able to see drones, ships, tractor beams, wrecks, cargo containers, basically anything which we can kind of pick up and take as our own. Uh, we want to be able to see. So we'll be with you in a second once you've done that. So you're happy with that? Brilliant, all you need to do now is hit the save button and also reopen up the filters drop down and unselect all of the default filters and just have our custom one showing. So since we've just spent a little bit of time actually messing around with filters, you want to hit the reanalyze button while you're in the spread formation. Just because ships do move around, drones do get collected and you know, generally the game does move on and we have to spend a bit of time messing about. So now what we need to do is simply find something we want to go and collect we want to be looking for drones, loot, cargo, as I said, anything which we can take as our own. And we also want it to be a little way away from any other ships. It's pointless warping in on a group of drones which are you know, the same AU as a ship because chances are they belong to that ship and they're not going to be too happy you know, if we try and steal their stuff. It's also worth noting at this point that we did have to have the two range finding modules on our ship as well as the sisters expanded probe launcher and the sisters probes because we didn't have enough scan strength to actually scan down the smaller drones and it's kind of pointless having a ship that's meant to be collecting drones if it can't scan them down so yeah without those modules we couldn't actually get enough scan resolution to get to 100 percent to warp to them so if anyone's wondering why we actually took up space with them well there's your answer so yeah we'll jump ahead now until hero's on top of something and yeah we'll start collecting some goodies Okay, so we found a nice little group of Hornet 1s here. They're not the most valuable drones in the world, but hey, it is a start. Now, there's no other ships about, so these have obviously been left behind at some point. And we've just reached 100% scan resolution, so we can now warp to them and pick them up. Okay, and there they are. So kind of uneventful, you know, we're not blowing anything up to get money. We're simply just warping and collecting things but that's pretty much the ins and outs of it we've scanned it down we've warped it we've picked it up all we need to do now is actually sell it so here if you want to carry on just scanning about see what you can find and uh, we'll catch up to you in a little bit to see how you're getting on all right here a little bit of time has passed since we last spoke not much and you seem to be very busy what's going on here oh brilliant so someone's actually offered you the loot from their site Oh great, okay, so for anyone who doesn't know, if someone wants you to come to their site, they'll usually form a fleet with you, and then you can use the fleet window to warp straight to them. So what you need to do now is actually just salvage everything and collect everything up. Looks like the guys decided not to abandon any of the wrecks though. So they are yellow, so you won't be able to use your tractor beam, you will actually have to fly to them. Since they are yellow as well, you need to remember that if you do loot any of the goodies inside the containers, you will become suspect. And even though you're in high security space, people will be able to attack you for 15 minutes so remember that 
You can't actually salvage the Vex even if they are yellow, that doesn't affect anything, it's just the looting of the cargo that will actually make you a suspect. Since there is rooms in this site as well, you'll also need some sort of item, usually a pass key or encryption key uh, in order to go through the gates. So the guy will actually have to come to you at some point here if you want to go to the next room. So it's up to you how much you trust him. Maybe you get the key before so you become suspect and then you can carry on through. So yeah, just loot everything up and we'll catch up to you once you're done to see exactly how much you get from what site's this? Okay, so it's just a level four mission site. So yeah, we'll see exactly how much loot you can get from a level four mission site. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Okay, Hero, so you're all done. Lovely, how'd you get on? Ah, uh, okay, so unfortunately Hero had to dock up halfway through to clear his cargo out. And when he went back to the site to despawn, so he only cleared two rooms, but it only took half an hour. So how much have you managed to earn? 10.4 million worth of loot. That's actually not too bad as saying it took half an hour. So, so far we're on a bit of a winner. Hopefully it carries on like this and we'll make some money. Please don't come back to me in a few weeks time here saying you've lost 50 million. Because I won't be happy and I'll have to go find someone else. Because obviously you're not up to the task. <laughs> um, I don't really have anything else to say on this. So I just want to thank all you guys for watching. If you did like this video, then please hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, then please subscribe to see how this ends. And obviously watch some more of my super awesome mega wicked cool videos. And other than that, stay awesome and I'll see you right here very soon in another video. Bye bye. And you can see there he's just lit a sign or something and what the hell is he doing here? Surely, oh my god, you are absolutely me.